Hi guys, it's Rachel here. This is the second time I'm doing this video. You won't believe it. Um, so I fixed my microphone. It actually had an extra cord that I thought was like an extension cord if I wanted to move further away, but actually it um, needed to be attached to that and then attached into my iPad. And in fact, the jack fits in better. And so now it's working. So that's good. But the other thing was, um, which hasn't happened to me before, um, I'm sure you can see my mess over here. I don't think my piece of fabric is arriving all the way over there. Um, so just ignore that. Um, so we can't have the sound and everything perfect. It just That's just not how it works. Um, so basically I did the video, the flip through of this journal for Crystal. And um, before I went to bed last night, I was watching uh, Gail Agostonelli and I turned it off because I got tired and, and um, went to sleep. But in my, when I listened to my video, lucky I listened back to it, um, there was Gail in the background while I was speaking. So I thought, no, I better redo the video, even though it was just quiet. It was a bit like having music um, in the background. I thought I better redo the video, which is quite taxing because it's a big journal and I'm feeling a bit huffed and puffed. But I do have my coffee here and I've got my coffee warmer and I forgot about my coffee and it's piping hot. So thank you um, for suggesting getting a, um, a coffee warmer because it's fabulous. And I've got a little pretty uh, dish on top of the coffee so the heat doesn't escape out the top and it's piping hot in there so I can take my time drinking it. So let's get on to Crystal's journal. I might have a sip of coffee halfway through because it is really tiring. Um, so Crystal wanted something um, that felt Italian. And so I chose this book that I had, 1945 Il Ponte, beautiful leather spine. And it has the gorgeous Florentine paper. I kind of covered it up a bit on the front because um, uh, you might have, uh, in my last videos, known that I'm, I'm loving Medieval Mirage and I really wanted to put that on the cover. I felt like it worked really well with my setting and I put it onto antique linen and beautiful antique initial and one of Sue from Paper Inspirations uh, ruffles that she gave me, paper ruffle, and I have modge podge that and I've modge podge this so it's all protected and some beautiful antique lace that I bought at the antique market. So I've done a hidden spine again here so I've, I've glued it to death so let's hope it's all okay and then inside there are five signatures way too many I know I can't help myself it's hard to eliminate you know the pages that I don't want to use um, so this is a straw paper envelope a big one one of the bigger size and I've just collaged on it and this is antique papery and this is from the graphics very one of my labels and a lovely tag with antique papery paper on there that I'd made a while ago. Um, this is the collection from uh, Stamperia Spring Botanics. Now I'm losing my voice because it's the second time I'm doing the video. This is a flip out that I made. Um, I think I did this on the video the other day. I've chopped it down and um, put it as a flip out. So I quite like that. One of my antique letters. I might not tell you everything. How about that? This is um, Medieval Mirage and then just a journaling card that I made. Um, and just a public domain image. I think I got that from the pub, uh, New York Public Library digital collection. Uh, Medieval Mirage, Medieval Mirage. It's, they are the most beautiful collections. I'm, I'm still getting my head around them um, because there's so much in them. I'm just slowly going to start playing with them and figuring out some, some things that I might like to do with them. As you know, I, I can't help myself. I have to mix and match. I can't just use one thing. And it's the same with sewing. I really struggle to use just one collection. Um, this is one of their um, card, like little journaling cards or tuck spots or something that you can use. And this is a journaling card that I made the other day in one of my 100 day project challenge. Some Stamperia Spring Botanics, some antique lace. And then this is that um, faux envelope journaling spot that I made and I made it as a tuck spot on the other side on the straw paper. I stitched it onto straw paper because it's nice and strong and that this is a journaling card that I made with some old book page. I really like that. Um, this is from the New York Public Library, one of my embroideries. It's my antique piece of quilt that I have. This is a photograph that I took. This is the front um, 
page of the book it only came out as a single page so um, I just put it there because it's got the name and it's got the date and I think always think that's important to include um, an antique painting um, painting of Venice tuck spot or medieval mirage antique painting a renaissance painting I should say this is medieval mirage and these are just from the graphics fairy premium membership um, as you can see I double sided I printed on both sides um, so there weren't any sort of white pages um, that's Botticelli that's one of my old postcards and then a little tag that I made and this is medieval mirage just a little tuck spot there um, and then that's an antique book page um, and I got that from the uh, New York Public Library this is one of my antique letters this is a book page pocket and then this is a little cute envelope by Medieval Mirage that I just thought I'd include in there. And then that's the end of the first signature. This is the card that I made the other day. So it's a good journaling spot. I made it a tuck spot behind. This is a real antique postcard from, I think it's from 1908. And that's the back of it. And then this is an antique um, invoice that I had that I had scanned. So I just printed that out. You, to, you can use it in collaging or write there or do whatever you like that's one of my antique on uh, one of my photographs I took this is from the book there were some yellow pages in the book I really liked those so I put those in and they weren't um, glossy they're very sort of rough feeling one of my embroideries um, from a school notebook a uh, photo of a tapestry that I took pocket here and a gorgeous tag made with a project life card um, more medieval mirage so most of the all of these pages are medieval mirage that's the envelope em, envelope that I made the other day and I um, I um, trimmed it down because it didn't fit and that w I also made that the other day I think in one of my first videos it's absolutely one of my favorites and as Crystal wanted it to feel a little bit Italian um, there you go Florence most beautiful writing um, and that's one of my scanned antique postcards the reverse side that's one of my photographs William Morris um, that's also public domain I can't remember where I found that one I might have found it on New York Public Library I can't remember beautiful uh, fresco it's one of my favorites don't know who did it that's an antique painting this is the other side of the envelope and a journaling card I made a while back when I was playing around with the um, postcard the reverse side of the postcards the scanned ones that I have because I've got a lot of those and I like to include those in the digital kits because they're actually a lot of fun to play with tuck spot here another public domain I won't tell you everything embroidery photograph that I took now I will tell you this one I didn't do this on video this is um, medieval mirage my doily the do beautiful doily that Ayozia sent me this is medieval mirage this is music paper that Ayozia sent me um, these two are two, bit, two bits from my that's from my scanned collage page and that's from one of my um, antique scan letters some straw paper one of my doilies and a medieval mirage stamp so I like that it's one of my favorites I'm going to make some more of those so that's the end of that signature was that the first oh my good no that's the second signature okay so this is another that's Tim Holtz this is another stamperia from another collection um, but it's it's about music I'm going to have a sip of coffee I think it's coffee time just a second I'll try not to make too much noise mm. it's even more hot than when it came out of the Nespresso oh see it's a bit a little bit damp there and um, that's a photograph I took um some more beautiful antique things that kind of remind me of europe or italy um, that's a photograph i took this is a tuck spot with medieval mirage and that's a little thing you can put some paper there and journal or glue it in as a pocket whatever you like um, and i had made that a while ago um, i think i did it on video that's medieval mirage some more medieval mirage gosh they're beautiful really clever love them um, one of my photographs this is a flip that I made with just a book page like the full size of the book page this is all medieval mirage 
um, one of their little journaling cards or pieces of ephemera. Um, this is um, beautiful. It's from the 1700s. I bought it um, at the antique market and uh, I think I bought it with my... Oh, oh, what did I drop? Oh, I dropped my, my scale. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Now that my microphone's working, you probably heard that really loud. Um, yeah, I bought it with my sister. It's very old. I think it was like an, from the uh, ecclesiastical sort of garments or something. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, some antique writing. And then this is medieval mirage and just a collage of things that you can write on. It's one of my favorite. I like that one too. I'll do some more of those. Medieval mirage. Medieval mirage. It's all medieval mirage. Medieval Mirage, my photographs, and um, oh, this is Tim Holtz, and then I put one of my doilies and I trimmed it off, so it was cut off. And then that I made that a while ago. That's all hand stitched. You'll be able to see the hand stitching crystal when you see it. And then I glued it to the old book page to make a little journaling card. I'd like to do more of that sort of thing. And um, let me see. It's all Medieval Mirage. See, it's all, it's all them. And then this is Medieval Mirage. And then this is from the Graphics Fairy Premium Mendership. And then this is from Nostalgia Graphic Land. They're always some of my favorites because they're so pretty. Um, photograph, photograph, embroidery. Then this is Stamperia paper from the Botanical Collection. This is a collage I did on a little scrap piece of paper that I had. Um, this is a book page with Medieval Mirage on the other side and one of my doilies and Nostalgia Graphic Land. I love that. I don't know why, I just love it. Um, this is one of my collage pages. There, that, and then you'll see the other side when we get to it. That's another collage I did on just a piece of scrapbooking paper. Um, this is all Medieval Mirage. That's one of my photographs. That's, that's like the same on, as on the tag. That's from the New York Public Library. One of my antique letters. Pavement that I took a photograph of. Just some journaling cards in a pocket. One of my photographs. Public Domain Botanicals. This is a map of, I think it's Rome. I want to say Rome because they look like the Spanish Steps to me. Um, and it's from the New York Public Library. That's one of my photographs. That's an antique map of Italy. This is a tuck spot here. And I can't believe I'm doing this again. Um, this is one of my antique letters. This is a marbled page from the New York Public Library. Um, one of my antique letters there. Medieval Mirage. We're nearly at the end of the second last signature tuck spot here. Some more handwriting, Medieval Mirage. And that's the other side of my collage page. And then the end of the signature. This is a glassine bag that I did. I think I continued on the other day when I did the bags with my video. And, um, and I just put this big tag in I made a while ago um, in that one. And then this is all Medieval Mirage here. You can see those. Very, very pretty. I want to play around more with this collection. I haven't really um, sort of... What do you... How do you say with... How do you say... I um, can't say it. Oh, dearie me. Um, experiment with it. Yes, that's what I want to do. That's a fresco by Mantegna. Um, this is another flip up. That's the other part of the flip up that I... Flip out that I put in the first part that's one of my photographs of Venice really like that um, antique letter one of mine that I scanned medieval mirage illustration it's a public domain one the beautiful piece of antique quilt another tuck spot here with nostalgia graphic landing and that's medieval mirage and more medieval mirage um, one of my photographs here antique painting Medieval Mirage, straw paper, tuck spot, um, antique painting, and the other side of that one. And these are all original book pages from the book. I like to put a, put a few of those in. This is all Medieval Mirage. I'll just show you quickly. I'm not being very generous, am I? Not showing you things. 
uh, and we're nearly at the end. Um, that's Medieval Mirage. This is the Stampery paper. It says Rigoletto Sinfonie something. Oh, Pastorale. <laughs> and then um, here's another glassing bag. I'm, oh, I did quite a bit after I turned the video off the other day. Um, this is all Medieval Mirage here. And then this is Antique Papery. And I just put this pretty tag in there because I liked it. I felt like it went well with that. Um, and that, oh sorry, I should tell you, I think I did this on video. Um, that's Stamperia, that's Tim Holtz, that's a public domain image. And that's a little bit of Heidi Swap, I think. And then this I made quite a long time ago, when I first started, I think, not too long, like maybe last September or something. Um, and it's all, was I was just highlighting using the doilies and things. Um, and so I'd made this tag with a book page and it's got beautiful antique hemp on it and um, I put this little um, antique invoice in there as you can see and it's printed on tea dyed paper which I don't do that often and um, and then I made it a tuck spot behind as well so there you go that is the journal crystal now what I might say is when you take out all the ephemera it's it's not bulging so you might decide you take out the ephemera, ephemera and use it as you like um, and um, and then if you feel like you need to take out some pages by all means do that because and you can use you can put them back in like you can use them in your collaging or stick them onto a page or um, like just say what I do if I've got just say I want to tear out this page and then on the other side I've got um, a pocket or something I just tear it there and then um, and then I washi tape that down or glue it down so that way it doesn't fall out that's all I do anyway so that is the journal I hope you like it crystal and um, if you don't that's okay too and I will be back soon bye